Welcome back to today's uh, particular tutorial on practical application of C language. I'm C. Chris Delagmoyed and this is tutorial for netizen. Today we are continuing with uh, the, where we stopped and actually we are moving into coding C programs and uh, in our last tutorials we ran, tried to round up uh, by scripting and we are done with running up by scripting unless uh, if anyone should pop up uh, in the future we can attend to it but now we are done with uh, by scripting and uh, if you go to the previous tutorial and check that's uh, we have done everything on by scripting and uh, if you have any question on that drop it on the comment section uh, actually some persons asked uh, concerning the basketing we have done whether uh, they are asking question on mac actually the basketing we did is uh, basketing is for windows operating system not actually for uh, mac or linux operating system for mac and linux you can talk about uh, uh, what do i call it uh, we have g script and also for linux we can talk about uh, S script all those things so you can go and study uh, how to control the command props using all those scripts language based on your own operating system so we are talking about the uh, window operating system okay let's move to what we have what we have today we are continuing with writing c program and today we are going to write a program that will move a file from one particular location to another you might not find it very very interesting now it's cool i mean some persons might have known it but we are, when we are going to write some uh, advanced program it's called that we are going to be you are going to appreciate this particular thing okay just take it step by step and make sure you get what we about to explain let's just come here and see move file dot c and we come here okay let's include our library sdio okay let's come here and uh, include the second library which is a uh, SD, sorry, SD LIB standard library. Okay, first of all, let's create our main function, and here we are going to first of all declare the parts. That is the first of all, declare the parts boot source source parts and destination actually this is our comment and here we are going to declare first of all the source parts and we are going to make it constant actually uh, in our future program we are going to write with this thing this uh, constant is going to be removed because this constant means this thing must come i mean it makes the variable to be constant that means uh, the variable cannot be changed so that's what it means but we are going to remove it in the future this is just for this tutorial and here we are going to see we are going to name it move from and uh, we are going to leave it to be blank for now so we come and do for the second constant char character and then move to we are going to leave it blank for now okay then we are also going to uh, give this thing a particular we are going to give it a particular size all those things size and uh, also we are going to give it a uh, we are going to initialize the parts the parts okay we come here and this make this one car we are going to make it move five is equal to let's make it hundred as a move file make it 100 and we are going to come here and uh, initialize it print f s and here we are going to make this we are going to put this uh, move file here 
comma then this which is a declaration of our string and we are going to put the first part which is moved from here okay and uh, the name of our file actually let's just name it uh, okay let me let me just come here now and uh, show you what we are going to move the name of the file is my file .txt. i'm going to tell you how to get all the names of the file when we are going to do some looping through the file let me just close this thing copy this thing and do it for the destination file then we see to file that's uh, where this thing is going and we are going to come here and see to file this, this, this we are going to move like this move to variable here and here actually the name you give to this file is what is going to is going to take into that particular this particular folder which is the this particular folder here and uh, the move to yes to file this mm, okay let's just give this thing uh, my last file the name to be my last file I'm getting an error and I can't detect where the error is coming from. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is where the error is coming from. It doesn't uh, have to have all this equal to. Okay, let's just come here and uh, execute some part of the code and we say if then rename that's if this thing is moved we put our variables here move from then move to so if this thing is equal to zero that means the thing actually moved then we are going to print let's clear this thing and say print f file successfully moved sorry and we are going to see else you can print anything here actually but here we are going to do something very very uh, important here don't print anything let's just say file uh, wasn't successfully moved or you can print any other thing here we are going to use a peril peril actually is going to tell us uh, actually what is wrong with our program that's what peril is going to do and here Right arrow and there uh, put error moving file. Then we are going to come and uh, print the actual actual statement. That's the return statement and print actually what is wrong with the program and which is going to be exit failure. So and here we are going to say return exit success that's when everything is success okay actually if i print if i run this code now it's going to give us an error okay it says let me clear it and run it again it says what no such file directory actually we haven't declared our file actually so but if you come here now this is where this thing is going to go from from and to this is how I want it. I want to move it from here to here. So if I come here now and click on this file and say property, I can be able to copy this thing immediately. Copy it that's from and put it here and say slash my file dot txt. And after you copy it, come here and change this thing to Just change it on your own program and also 
let me just copy this thing immediately knowing uh, fully what uh, uh, where my file is going I'm going to come here and this is two that was this this is the destination I'm talking about this is the des actually the destination is going to so I'm moving this file now from there to there and uh, coming here I want to stay in this particular folder and run this program so that you see how everything is going to be and two okay what do I call it my last file okay let's just run this thing for the first time let's see whether everything will work actually work and see so run code file exists error moving file file exists okay let's come here copy this thing come here paste it actually and write those tst clear this then run it again file successfully moved if we come here we discover that there is nothing here again and if we come here to this two file we discover that we have a file which is called my last file TSC. so this is actually how you can do it and uh, here you can change this thing to any particular site depending on what you are operating on so this is how everything goes on actually we are going to use this particular thing to create advanced program just know the basics when we are going to go to the advanced you are going to know so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and click on the notification bell to be receiving our videos and don't forget actually to like the video and comment if you have any confusion thank you